Greetings, everybody. This is Morning Eggnog. My name is James Font. With me, as always, Caleb. Good morning, everybody. Shopper pepper sprayed in 2013, arrested, yes. on the ar- arrested in an argument over TV in New Jersey Walmart. Pepper sprayed New Jersey. So first of all, why in the world are you going out anywhere in New Jersey? For Black Friday. I mean, unless... You're going to get the snot beat out of you because it's just New Jersey. Yeah, it's the kings and the... What are they called? What? Oh, I'm sorry. It's Black. It's West Side Story. The Kings and the. Nope. I don't remember no the idea. But anyways, it, it basically two gangs. It's like, it's like, the day where you're allowed to get into a fight. Oh, interesting. It's kind of like the Purge, but New Jersey. And hopefully not with just killing people. Oh, okay. Yeah, mainly just punching people in the Apparently, face. Apparently, I was watching a video about the Purge, and the most profitable, the best way to do the Purge. The most profitable and the best way to help anybody is to clean up the dead bodies and sell their organs because it's freshly it's freshly killed bodies. So you can sell their eyes for this much, or their heart for this much, because people are in desperate need of organs. But it's illegal to sell black market organs. What are you talking about? On the purge, it's illegal. It's legal to do anything bad. Okay, but the best way to win the purge. Is, is this... to collect dead bodies. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> well, this is a really dark this is morning a dark... eggnog. Good night. It is it's dark outside now, so I'm just I'm just sad all the time. Yeah, he's a just a depressed Ohio person. <laughs> it happens every year. It happens every year. Frickin' time change. <sighs> so Caleb. <laughs> What's up? Let's continue this wonderful morning eggnog that's coming out on Thanksgiving with more death. <laughs> <laughs> with the top 10 most deadly animals in the world. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to put um my pet cat Snickers. He's dead now, but thankfully they were he, he was pretty die. deadly. Actually no uh oh shoot what was her name? I think it was Savannah. Uh, grandma's cat. Savannah, no, no. What? I, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> no, yeah, it might have been. I, I don't remember. It was Savannah, and she was evil. She was pure evil. And then someone backed over with a car, and nobody she really was sad. She still lived. Well, yeah, she did live. She still lived. I forgot and about Jonathan that. had to shoot her because I she was still alive. That. Oh, my goodness. That cat. So... Just to give you an idea how evil this cat would be, is she would find figure out that you were there and you would never see her. Yes, and she would find a hiding spot, like under the couch or somewhere like that, somewhere yep. where you're not expecting to have your feet destroyed by claws of death. Now, see, and it's and it's terrible because we were young kids when this happened. But Freaky. the even worse part is my grandma was like 85. 85 year old skin is not very like you know, resilient to cat claws. Yeah. And so my grandma would just be bleeding and have band-aids all over all the time. We're like, what happened, grandma? She's like, oh, Savannah's just gotten a, a Riley mood. Yeah, Savannah the demon cat. But so anyways, she's on this list. So anyways, <laughs> yeah, so you would sit down on the couch and suddenly, like, you would have the your back, shoes off and suddenly here. your back of your legs would be in destroyed, shredded by this cat, this <laughs> evil, evil, <laughs> evil cat. <laughs> Okay, now that we've talked about evil cats, no, let's go into the most ten most dangerous animals. So, number ten, the cape buffalo is one of the most dangerous animals. Cape buffalo, it it's uh, like Superman, but for cape, but for capes, but for buffalo. Exactly, they have awesome horns, and they weigh about fifteen hundred pounds, and they run about thirty five miles per hour. Wow, it's like a car moving thirty five miles per hour. Holy cow! And they're nearly six foot tall. Well, so they're a big animal. So, and they've been known to rush. Uh, the cone snail. What? The cone snail. Why is it so nine. dangerous? Um, found in the warm waters of the tropics, the Caribbean, Hawaii, and so on. This beautiful creature, instantly recognizable for its highly prized brown and white marbled shell, can seem... Highly prized. Yeah. Uh, but do not dare to touch this... Uh, gastropod 
gastropod. Sounds like me after beans. I was going to say, me inside of a small pod or something. I don't know. Which can be up to six inches long. It contains harpoon-like teeth. What? Mm-hmm. A complex venom known as Wait, a... How, you, you said six inches long. Yeah. This the, is a snail. It's a snail. It's so its six shell inches is like, long. The shell is like as big as a coffee mug. Big. big probably a little bigger. Oh, my goodness. So they're big. Uh, they're big boys. But they... they. I don't know if you've ever seen... Um, no, you haven't because you don't have children. Uh, octonauts. I actually have seen one episode of Octonauts. Okay. So Octonauts. Um, they do a one on the cone snail, and it actually can shoot. What? Its teeth. It can shoot its teeth? Yeah, it can spit it at you and actually stick you with it. What? Oh, crap. There's a movie where they do that. Yep. What movie is that? Let uh, me know. The toxic stops nerve cells from communicating with one another, and so the creature not only causes paralyzation oh within gosh. moments, but give it, given its nickname of cigarette snail, affording you about enough time to smoke one before you die. Oh my goodness. Yep. The golden poison dart frog. I have heard of this. Mm -hmm. It's a dart frog because they would the uh, native tribes would rub their arrows on them or their poison darts on them. There and you then go. go. <laughs> yeah, they're blow darts. So that way they could hunt. Mm -hmm. And it was an easier way to take down um, large game. So... Obviously, so it would kill the large game, but it wouldn't hurt you after with you, when you eat it. They don't think they ate it. You're not even supposed to really touch them because if well, you no, no, no. if if you eat the game that you shot with the poison dart, no, I don't think it affects that because I believe the poison affects the nervous system. Could so, you imagine eating a steak and then you can't move? That would be unfortunate. Actually, that's after Thanksgiving. If you eat a bunch of turkey, you just can't move anymore. Yeah. Number seven is the box jellyfish. I have heard of boxes jellyfish. They're yeah. UPS. <laughs> Their namesake cubic frame contain up to 15 tentacles at the corners, yeah. with each growing as long as 10 feet. So, so 15 times 10, that's 150 feet of tentacles. I mean, that's, that's a lot of space you're taking up there, little guy. Which contains toxin. Simultaneously attacking the heart, nervous oh system, and skin cells with an anti venin uh, while anti venins anti I'm sorry, people. <laughs> uh, so um, there's this an antidote sounds... exists. The poison is so powerful that many of the uh, hundreds of reported victims each year go into shock. Oh my goodness. The pufferfish, number puffer six. Pufferfish. You can eat a pufferfish, but you have to you have to really trust the chef. Yes. Um, the delicacy is called fugu. Fugu. Is the delicacy. And it has to be done by a licensed, trained chef. And as I believe, it's you have to be trained for it's five or ten years before you are allowed to serve it. I mean, it's like, it's like being a doctor in the fact of you are messing with people's lives. Except with food. Yes, but, you know, people are want to live on the edge, man. Yeah, and um, you, there are so still... So don't, don't go to the gas... Don't get the gas station puffer fish. You might die. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, gas station, like gas station sushi, it's just as dangerous. <laughs> and then some. It's just as dangerous. Um, the pterodioxin, pterodioxin, it, it's what kind of poison it is. Is up to uh, let's see, twelve hundred times more poisonous than cyanide. Whoa! So seriously. So that's what Hitler actually did. Is he popped a whole puffer fish in his mouth? I don't think so. How would don't that know, would man. be a huge mouth to take? Well, a no. When they're when they're not puffed up, they're like this big. That's true. They're really yeah. small and they're not puffed up. But mm -hmm. if he pulled it out of the water, it might be scared. So then it would puff up. Mm. I don't know. And but then that's you could go Hitler... make some water breathing potion with it. Yes, and then you need to you need to have your uh... ah shoot <sighs> luck of the sea and your your other things on your fishing pole so that you can catch the puffer fish a lot more often. That's right. Number five, the black mamba. Hey mambo, mambo italiano. You've seen Mega Mind, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, that's what that's from. 
His his outfit, the Black Mamba. Such a great movie. I haven't seen it in a while. Uh, though the species, uh, those species such as the Boomslang or King Cobra, I want. You know next, what's funny? My next dog is going to be named Boomslang. Boomslang. <laughs> Boomslang, come here. <laughs> but anyways, um, and Harry Potter, uh, it, when they're doing, uh, they're making potions and stuff. They're talking about boom slang skin, and I thought it was a make believe animal until I read this. And you're like, "Oh, it's not out of the mythical, mythical, magical this world." This is of actually Harry a Potter. real creature. I feel really stupid now. The boom slang. The boom slang. Um, but anyways, we're talking about the black mamba. The black mamba. The reason it's so dangerous is because it's so fast. It'll travel. It travels up to twelve point five miles per hour. Nope. 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 So this is a snake. This is a snake. This is a, a snack. Yeah. This if is. If you a don't snake. know how to type well. Exactly. So this is a quick little booger. No. And the 12 thing is, miles an hour? 12.5. So almost no. 13. 13 is pretty quick. No. Nope, nope. Yeah. Nope. That's faster than I can jog. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's faster than I can oh, almost no, I, sprint. I, I hate this thing. I'm scared. <laughs> I, can't, I can't outrun this thing. It's like a jumping spider. Those are also super scary because yeah. they're just like, poof, and they're on your face. Yeah. And the thing about this particular the snake black mamba? Oh, is it doesn't bite you once. Oh, sick. So it's like one of those snakes that is like, it's like, it's just <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> and they grow up to about 14 feet long. So. And it can still move at 12 miles per hour? Still 12, over 12 miles an hour. I hate this. Yeah. And no. uh, when it bites you, a single bite has enough power to kill 10 people. Enough poison in it to kill 10 people. And then it bites you multiple times. Hey. Bites you multiple times. Thus duplicating the poisonous factor. Exactly. Thankfully, we're in Ohio. We don't have to worry about very many poisonous things, except social media. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> it's very toxic. <laughs> and masculinity. Yeah. Saltwater crocodiles. Yep. Um, I can see how they would be dangerous. Yeah. We got saltwater they can water digest crocodile. a nail. I learned that on Zabumafu. Ooh. Uh, Tatisti fly. Uh, Tatisti fly? I, I, I probably butchered it, but Shh, you're exactly right. Um, basically, what it is is it's it's a lot like a mosquito. Um, it bites you, and then that it is, puts parasites. That is in the your weird blood. thing: is like mosquitoes are pretty high on the most dangerous list because of malaria and Lyme's disease, and it's number two. Are you serious? Number two is mosquitoes. Uh, there's approximately uh, 70, there's a trillion of them. Seven hundred and twenty-five thousand deaths per year. What? Roughly 725,000 deaths per year because of the mosquito and the viruses 700. it carries. So, like, closer to a million than I was expecting. Yeah. Uh, mainly because it carries one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, known viruses. That's awesome. I am I love that. Yep. And let's see. I should be dead. <laughs> Oh, that's not necessarily we, true. Because we live in Northwest Ohio, where it's literally <laughs> called the Black Swamp. And uh, you know what thrives in a black swamp? Mosquitoes. Caleb? Mosquitoes, because, you know, it's stagnant water. Mm -hmm. um, I've probably been bit 100,000 million times in my lifetime. Yeah, because your place was one of the worst. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Or at his old house. And then number one, humans. We are pretty dangerous. Yeah. But are we considered animals? We're, con we're a mammal. We are a mammal, but are we animals? This is a whole other thing conversation that we're not going to have right now. No, we're not going to have this conversation right no, now. Too, it's too completely not necessary, but I thought that was quite clever of them. Yes. we. I mean, yeah. Because we have taken over the world. We are, like a, we are like a disease, man. We're just taking over the world, and it's just trying to get rid of us. By, it's like we're the disease, and the, the earth is like having a fever, man. Speaking of diseases, you need to get your stickers. Ha <laughs> ha! It's upside down. Dang it. I wasn't paying attention that time. Like last time I was like, Wah! and it was like perfect. Except it's still. Anyways, if you're watching the YouTube version, we are now holding up stickers. Again, we're just we're just And coasters. And coasters. We're not even selling these. We're giving these away for free and we still have too many because literally two people watch this podcast. So get your friends together so we'll have four people to give stickers to. Yeah, and not to mention they just look fun. They look fun. They're high quality three inch stickers and they're wonderful. But be sure to check us out on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. And if you want to watch us, you can watch us on YouTube at James Fox Pod. YouTube.com slash James Fox Pod. Um, have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for dedicating this little amount of time to to us, you know. Yeah, and hopefully your Thanksgiving is a lot more um, 
happy than our podcast this time around. Exactly. So. so don't go Black Friday shopping. Just wait till Cyber Monday. Sit on your couch. Order that huge TV that you've been wanting for years. Oh, yeah. Just do it. Monday sales. Just do it because it'll be way cheaper. Did you know that um, I was at a place yesterday and they had an 86-inch TV, two of them? But they weren't OLED. Okay. Which an OLED TV would be about $7,000. Okay. If it was 82 inches. But this was n- n- nano cell. So it was only $2,500 a piece. Oh, only. So it's five grand. 80, 86 was inches, it, though. Was it a, a home or was it a. No, no, no. This was at a, a TV shop and they had them in the back. Oh, okay, okay. And I said, oh, wow, I didn't even know I needed an 86 inch TV <laughs> <laughs> until now. Yeah. At some point, you're like, okay, enough with the TVs. It's just time to go rent, you know, like purchase a movie a theater quality. Yeah. Or a projector. Yeah. I don't know. Well, that's what they use as projectors. Yeah, true. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful morning, noon, or night. See ya.